guys welcome back to another episode so today uh we have that rabbit that i need to go hunt i can't remember where it just went um oh boy it's somewhere up here i know that uh but yeah last episode we were going to go hunt that rabbit but it seems like he stopped so we'll have to see if we can't locate the rabbit Maybe it despawn? I don't think they despawn, but... Okay, let's uh, disable the trees so we can kind of see... There he is. He's right there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll... Tell him to go here. And hopefully we can get there before any... Oh, well, uh... Fox is just... Oh, no, they're, they're sleeping. Okay. I think they were on their way to the rabbit, but... Um... Should be good. I think pole cats and we took care of the pole cats last episode and there's just foxes left mostly and other creatures. So yeah, one of the things that like one of the advancements or achievements for Steam, I think it's the last one is to hunt like 20 rabbits. Hopefully we can get that um, in the next while all these trees falling. Okay, go this way just going up the hill he's just like I'm going this way not sure if there's the yeah, there's a ramp over there okay we'll see if we can't get him up here Got him. I love how it's just like right there on the uh, thing. There's like that little pane of blood, but it's just like because it's on the ramp, it doesn't really count. All right, so we got that one. Uh, I think that was the only one that we had, so we can, I guess, bring that back to our uh, base. And let's go through the wildlife. We'll just see if there's anything else here. Foxes. Yeah, there's quite a bit of foxes that we need to tend to. Uh, boars. No bears yet. So they did add bears recently, so eventually we'll have to. That always scares me so much. Um, they, they actually changed that sound from when I started playing, so it throws me off. It's like when Minecraft actually added um, tool breaking.
Alrighty then. So I started working on a couple things. I got a couple extra paths in just so it's a little bit nicer for around the village and stuff. You know, makes nice for easier walking. I'm not sure. I think the speed um, goes a little bit faster as well. I can't remember if that's the case. Let's look at the stats. Um, thought maybe it gave them a little bit of a boost for walking, but I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Oh, terrestrial speed. Yeah, so 94% for that one for cobblestone. This one is 85. So it's a little bit faster if they walk on the uh, the cobblestone. So that's good. Um, compared to the dirt, uh, it's 85% speed. So yeah, basically that's what I was thinking about. All right. So a couple other things that I wanted to work on was just like these little areas where the doors are. I wanted to put some pathways here so they can easily get to that. We're going to tell them to cut that bush out so we can basically get that um, sidewalk in. And he's going to go in there. Can you... What are you carrying? Oh, he's he's going to eat. Okay, so we'll, we'll fix that one up later. Um, Alright, so that house is not going to be permanent, so I'm not going to put a side or like a pathway to it just yet. Um, you know, I didn't exactly choose the best location to put that house but um you know there's going to be room for other things we can probably actually move cattle or something there in the future because we'll have the walkway up here that we can basically defend so i think that might work um also the foxes have been hanging out along here as well so we might want to start hunting them um let's actually take a look at the overview wildlife by now there's probably a wolf or two uh boars one wolf lots of foxes tons of deer and tons of boars boars aren't really too much of an issue um they're pretty passive well <laughs> unless you're provoked i guess uh provoked by you know hunting but um the foxes i i can't remember if they can attack dogs or not that might be an issue so, but they also attack the rabbits, and I need that av advancement, so I think we should hunt them and try to get them uh, taken care of. Now, I, I did have some stuff that I was unlocking as well, so let's uh, check up on uh, what it was. I can't remember what it was that I was working on, but yeah.
All right, so there were some logistical errors going on. Uh, one of the things was North was tending to build a lot more than actually farming, which was not good for our crops. Um, we did get um, to harvest everything. I, I told them to manually harvest the uh, cabbage, uh, but um, I sorted out his schedule a little bit more. I have him to do animal hunt. Hun husbandry um, with highest priority and then he goes into harvesting so that's pretty much like really fundamental for getting the crops out of the field uh, so they don't basically spoil and the next priority is crafting we could probably lower that to like three uh, we don't really need him to craft anything uh, because he's a farmer but uh, other thing would be uh, Stuart so closing doors windows that's kind of important uh, hauling isn't so that's a four um, and then there is the three so the next thing is basically growing so anything that needs to be grown uh, that's basically what planting stuff like that then he'll p basically plant those after that he'll um, actually I kind of want him to cut plants instead actually we do have um, yeah, we'll, we'll tell him to cut plants instead. And then we can have him uh, go ahead and do the either constructing or cooking, depending on what things that need to be done. And then finally, he can either go hunting or any of the other things. So that's basically the idea that I have basically set up. Uh, we can probably lower this to like four or... Yeah, because hauling's after that, right? So... Um, We'll set this to like a four, so cooking, either crafting, or the hauling, so that should be set up pretty good for a farmer, I think. Uh, he doesn't have any other skills in the other areas, so I basically just disabled those uh, for the smithing, um, carpentry, and tailoring. He has five, but he's not that good at it. We have better people that can basically handle that. Uh, intelligence is only 10, so it's not exactly uh, good for research at the moment. An artist is 10 as well, but everything else is basically set up how I want it for this guy. And he seems to be doing a good job. Uh, he's been f planting everything, so that's good. Uh, he keeps going up and down to the basement, though it's a lot faster now that we have stairs. I think that will be a really good thing. And now that it's basically close to the thing, it's like to the farm, it's really good too. All right, so we got somebody here. Let's take a look at this. Um... So we actually got to use our uh, wonderful little tower thing here, and it worked out pretty well. We got 
all of the bandits. So every last single one of them. I ended up um, spacing them out towards the end so we would deal heavy damage so they were slower and couldn't run as fast. And by the time the the few the last three were down everyone had a assigned person and it was just like picking them off like flies so yeah i'm pretty impressed with that we got uh some metal objects and stuff like that so we can get some a little bit better armor and some weapons and stuff like that um we still need to unlock a lot of stuff but in the meantime what I'm going to do is we did get a couple extra bows. We got a war bow. I think that's a higher level one. I um, can't remember if it is, if it deals more damage. I think it does. But um, we're going to just tell them to move. Well, we should probably build some extra stuff in here anyways. We can put some weapons stuff up here. Uh, maybe some shield storage and some other storage up here as well but uh yeah basically uh we can smelt those down or we can use them or whatever we need to we got um some maces those are iron we got the shields those are wood so we can get wood out that that's deer hide but we can basically turn that that's like armor it's good quality um pretty good amount of um armor on it too so actually before she goes into there let's tell her to grab uh equip that helmet so I'm trying to just get everyone equipped with something that doesn't have like exactly great quality on it but it's still something so we'll tell him to equip that one uh there's a little bit of armor left as well there's a couple pieces of armor so we'll tell her to grab the armor there too there we go. Okay, so that's about all the armor that we got from there. But we got some other iron weapons. But outside of that, I'm pretty happy with that. Our farming's uh, going a lot better. Um, just harvested and replanted the barley. We should have uh, another good yield from that soon. Our crops here are still, still need a little bit of planting. But outside of that, it's good. Um, anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.